I'm Ashley and I'm a stay at home mom and I am very busy. I'm Brian, I'm a runner, and I have high blood pressure. <laughs> My name's Liz, and I'm a grandma, and I'm Canadian originally, but I want to get out of the box and be so proud that I'm American now. I'm a boy and I do dishes. I'm a nerd, but I love to socialize and have fun with other people who are different than me. I'm from Louisiana, but I don't like seafood. Video games, but also do sports. I'm a gymnast, and I'm not naturally flexible. I am a referee and I'm a friendly, nice guy. I'm in all honors classes. People have always told me I don't believe you're Cajun because you don't sound like one. But I actually grew up on Bayou Lafourche and fished and hunted and did all those things as a kid but then also decided to go to college and then grad school and then do other things uh, that put me out into the world. A lot of times when people see me, you know, I'm blonde and tall and I like to dress nice, I like pretty things. So a lot of times people just assume that I might be kind of superficial or I don't think very deeply or whatever, but um, actually, I'm very religious and I love the Lord and I spend a lot of time reading and studying the Bible and praying and I'm a Bible study leader and I'm very involved in my church and so I think that that kind of busts through some stereotypes. I think that one of the stereotypes is that only girls play the piano and I can play the piano. I'm an elderly white male, uh, been married for almost uh, 50 years. I've actually altered a dress, a, a, a ballroom dress for my wife when it wouldn't fit her because she was pregnant. I was born in Colombia, South America. I married to a Canadian. I had two kids born, each one in different states. I live in China. I have moved 16 times in 16 years. And yet people want me to be from one place, one state, one city, and live in one house. I try to stay in shape, you know, like football. Someone may think someone who's focused on health and hard work, uh, they may not have a sensitive side. And I think I have a sensitive side. I watch uh, shows with my children, like The Voice, and sometimes I I cry during those shows. Not accepting norms is a good thing, and being willing to challenge yourself in this world in challenging what you believe and uh, accepting the unknown. I want to think out of the box because I'm kind of old-fashioned, you know. I'm a grandma, but I want to go with the young people of this nation, and I want to think like they are, forward and progressive. And progressive means joining hands and listening to each one of us.